the holiday blues. If you get them, you're not alone. Half of us do. We're going to show you a glorious holiday in five steps. This is Dusty Wealth, the channel on whole life wellness. I'm Elizabeth, a registered nurse and wellness coach here at Just Be Well. And I'm Tom Salt, a medical doctor and functional medicine practitioner. So as we said, if you're feeling blue over the holidays, you're not alone. 15% of us experience seasonal depression. 40% of us report increased stress over the holidays. And 50% of us report increased financial stress over the holidays. Doesn't sound very joyous, does it? So understanding why this is might help you get through it. For starters, I think we all feel the pressure of having to be merry. <laughs> so the pressure of feeling like we have to be happy actually causes us to feel less happy because we're wondering, why am I not happy? Right. How come everybody else has caught the Christmas spirit or the holiday mm -hmm. spirit and I haven't? Well, because it's not real. It's just a day. And it's partly because we're anticipating this huge event, which never really meets our expectation. If you go back to what we've talked about in previous videos, which is be present in this moment rather than anticipating the next moment, mm -hmm. I think you'll find that you can be more merry. Another issue is sort of the ghost of Christmas past. You know, maybe we have some estrangement from our family, or maybe our family is geographically separated from us. We're going to be alone, and we just don't have beautiful memories. Or if we do have beautiful memories, those memories are of the past and probably aren't coming true this year. And with that comes loneliness as well. Maybe there's a separation from family and you're unable to see them, or it's a time of year where you're really conscious that you don't have a significant other and everyone else does. Yeah, and even work issues. You know, we live in a society now where you have to go back to work on Thanksgiving afternoon because God forbid they miss one sale at these mega corporations. Some of us experience financial hardship around the holidays. We're already living paycheck to paycheck. And then the holidays come around and you're questioning how you can buy gifts for everyone and be able to afford it. So you start using your credit cards and you start stocking up balances on those. And with that comes more stress because you know after the holidays, those bills, that balance is going to be looking you in the face. You know, when I was a kid, I was pretty young. My sister's older than I am. She has moved out of the house. She was married. She's then divorced. And she's now a single mom with two children. And as you might imagine, she was really strapped for cash. And her gift for Christmas was to make the Christmas breakfast. Christmas morning after, you know, all the banshees have gone through the house and, you know, ripped open all the presents and all that kind of stuff and played and left everything in a mess. What do moms do? Well, usually moms have to get up and get in the kitchen and start thinking about food. Well, for my mother that year, she didn't have to do that. And I'll tell you something, I was a little kid at the time and I didn't even like the meal because it was eggs Benedict. Who wants to put lemon on their eggs? What is wrong with these people? But that's what she made and my mom loved it. And I remember that to this day. So sometimes a gift of your time time is far more valuable than any trinket you could possibly buy. Mm -hmm. It's those acts of love that are the long lasting. The other thing that happens during this time of year is the sun goes into hiding. And uh, many of us are solar powered, right? We have uh, solar receptors and uh, when we don't get enough solar power, we get a little seasonal affective disorder. So before we get to the solution, if you like our content, please subscribe hit the bell, and you will receive notifications from us whenever we post a new video. And please comment and share this. So let's get to the solution in five steps. Step one, feelings are meant to be felt. Emotions are meant to be emoted. You know, denying your emotions is not a fix. Stuffing your emotions is not a fix. You need to bring them out into the light of day and really look at them. And then you need to be intentional. Mm -hmm. 
you need to be intentional about how you process them and if you're going to respond to them because we should not respond to every emotion we feel otherwise it can make a big mess out of everything right and you know if you think about it um we tend to suppress our emotions and then blame people for them there's only one person in the universe that's responsible for your emotions and that's you so by really being intentional and present with your emotions, that's the only opportunity you have to have any kind of influence over your emotions. Step two, be present with your emotional state. So be in the moment. Don't let past experiences creep into those present moments and cause us to have an emotional reaction that we would have had previously in the past. So two issues here. Now, I keep saying, if you have one foot in the past and one foot in the future, you have nothing to stand on in this moment. Mm -hmm. And don't let too much of yesterday influence today. You know, don't spend a lot of time, don't waste time on last moment during this moment. This is a new moment and it's the only moment you have. Step three, be open to new traditions. Sometimes life changes and we have to be open to making new traditions. Absolutely. You know, especially maybe you're alone this uh, holiday season because of travel or whatever. Consider volunteering, you know, soup kitchens, underserved children, helping the elderly. You know, there are elderly in nursing homes that would just love somebody to come by and say hello. It's not hard to find opportunities to express compassion for our fellow human beings. Mm -hmm. It's important to consider what can I do for someone else? If compassion focuses us outward, our emotions focus us inward. You know, really looking for opportunities to express compassion is an, actually an excellent way to help our own emotional state. Step four. The best things in life are free. It's true. Sit down and write a note instead of an expensive gift. Cook a gift. <laughs> or make a gift. Mm -hmm. Or just show up and be present. You know, that's really what our families and our friends want. They want our presence. We so rarely are there because we're so frenzied over the holidays because we've responded to all these urgencies and we haven't considered the importance of each urgent act. In step five, one of the best ways to beat the blues, bundle up and get outside. Right. It's been shown that um, light exposure during the winter uh, for many people, not everyone, but many people is more important than an antidepressant medication. And in nearly everyone, movement and exercise has been shown to be better than an antidepressant. Mm -hmm. So bundle up and go outside. Mm -hmm. And this is a beautiful time of year. You know, we think of it as drudgery and cold and chilly and awful. But if you get dressed right, mm -hmm. put on socks, put on a couple of pairs of pants, put on a big coat and go outside and take a walk and look at the sparkle in the mm -hmm. snow. Look at the evergreen trees contrasted against the gray or blue sky, depending on the weather that day. Breathe in that. It's such a fresh time and everything. If it has freshly snowed, wow. It's just like it sparkles with a million diamonds. We feel so sorry for you people down in San Diego where you don't get the fresh snow. <laughs> Stay tuned for more tips. And if this has been helpful so far, please let us know in the comments. Also, if you have other topics you might be interested in, let us know. So what can we do at home to get started today? First off, I encourage you to start aiming for seven hours of sleep a night. You know, we get run down over the holidays. Everybody talks about how they're run down over the holidays. And of course, that's because we're responding to urgent and not important. And we think we have to be all things to all people. No, you know, we talked earlier about be impeccable with your word and all of the things that Don Miguel Ruiz talks about. And this is the most important time of the year to do that. A big, big health concern is your autonomic nervous system balance. 
Yes, your autonomic nervous system, it can spin everything else out of control. Absolutely. You know, we're almost always caught in fight or flight. Mm -hmm. We do not live in an environment that we evolved in, right? Mm -hmm. We now live in uh, a world where everything is crazy and fast and out of control. We're overscheduled, financially strapped. Everything is a threat. Yeah, no fun. Right. We're, you know, all work and no play. So mm -hmm. let go of that nonsense. That's just dumb. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Very few things in the world are dumb, but that is one of them. Yeah. And a lot of us consider, you know, fun as maybe going out and having a couple glasses of wine and just numbing our day. <laughs> An important thing for me that I found to balance my autonomic nervous system is just bring myself back into the moment. And sometimes that involves taking 10 deep breaths and really just breathing, controlled breathing, intentional, bringing your awareness to the moment. It'll switch you right out of that. And look for our um, video on our morning routine. You know, we ask ourselves five specific questions every single morning and we journal on it. And it sets the tone for the day. And over time, it becomes ritual and habit and just feels good to start your morning with this ritual. Mm -hmm. We've talked about it before. Joyous movement. Mm -hmm. Joyous movement, right? Bundle up, get outside, and Smell where the roses used to be. <laughs> <laughs> and when it comes to proper nutrition, remember, food is not the enemy over the holidays. Absolutely. We've said it a hundred times, but it bears saying one more time. Celebrate on those specific mm -hmm. high holidays mm -hmm. and be wise on all the days in between. Mm -hmm. Let go of the stress on that one day. Absolutely. And that includes stressing about food. <laughs> Absolutely. And relationships. Embrace the good and let go of the toxic. Absolutely. This is Just Be Well, the channel about whole life wellness. If you like this content, please subscribe. Please hit the bell. We'd love it if you'd comment. We love hearing from you. Also, share this because, frankly, we're trying to grow this channel. And we believe that this content is helpful to you and your friends. Bye. Bye. <laughs> Huh. <laughs>